Well, if I try it, I'll probably break out into a cold or a flu. And then that comes with a whole bunch of congestion. And that's what we're about to discuss now anyway. Now, when it comes to a congested and blocked nose, it really can turn a restful night into a symphony of interrupted sleep, disrupting our restorative rest. Now, here to help us understand the importance of sleep, we're welcoming Kenview's professional communications manager, Barbara Van Veg. Barbara, it's so great to have you here. And you look beautiful in the blue. Oh, thank you very much and good morning and a happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday indeed, thank you. Now it is very important to talk about the importance of sleep and why we shouldn't disrupt it. So perhaps you can give us your take on why is sleep so important for our bodies? Well, sleep actually helps our bodies to recharge and not just our bodies, but our mind as well. And that is so important. Mm. And when we get adequate sleep. We wake up feeling refreshed, energetic, but when we don't, then there are, and research has shown that there's significant uh, uh, impacts mm -hmm. on our on diseases or um, different uh, medical conditions. And, and, and it really is um, a, a huge impact. So yeah. you run a risk if you don't have enough sleep to have a risk of heart disease, strokes, even type 2 diabetes. Sure. So adequate sleep is very, very important. And it's also important because that's when your body restores. We Correct. want that restorative. Yes. You've touched on some of the things, but I feel like we need to unpack more of when you lack that restorative sleep, the impact it can have on your health. 100%. And just like you say, restorative sleep, there's a power in restorative mm. sleep. Because when our bodies, when we're in that inactive, restful state, our bodies actually start to restore our tissues in our body, in our brain, in our bodies, and also it replenishes chemicals that are important for bodily function. And more importantly, it helps boost our immune system. Mm. So when we are fighting infections like a cold and flu, we can then help or it, our bodies help us to recover. But it's very important to get that adequate sleep. Mm. And that's the power. That is our the power. Our bodies have got that power. And when we do have cold and flu symptoms, like you mentioned, nasal congestion, our bodies actually want to sleep more. It wants to sleep more, yes. but then you are sick and it happens to me, I get a bit of a post-nasal or you, you cough yourself awake or your nose is blocked and you feel congested. So then you actually don't get the sleep, that adequate sleep that you were highlighting. Yes. Then you have disruptive sleep and then it becomes a little bit of a struggle. So what can we do in moments when sleep is disruptive, but you know how important it is for your body to actually just get some sleep? Correct, and those are bothersome symptoms. Yeah. In a recent German study, they actually surveyed some doctors and they asked them, what is the four most important advice that they would give to patients? One was rest. Yeah. One is hydration. Take your cold and flu medication that's prescribed or recommended and sleep. Mm. So when we have these symptoms, we need to take some medication to help with them. So with um, a blocked nose, which is nasal congestion, mm. the best way to help that would be to unblock it. Yes. And you can use a nasal decongestion spray like a Sinutab. Now, Sinutab, it has the active ingredient of xylometazoline, okay. and that works very fast. It works actually in two minutes and can last for 10 hours, giving you that, that rest of restorative sleep. Mm. It is also number one selling nasal detox decongestant in South Africa and you can get it over the counter at any pharmacies. I love that because if we can just do a little bit of a demonstration, sure. we have our nasal spray here, this one's for the blocked nose and of course everyone gets their own one, we're not going to share this. Ooh, I just whipped up the whole thing, hold on, I try to take the plastic cover off, there yes. we go. That's it. And you'll just, in the evening, obviously it's new so you just need to give it a bit of a, there we go. There. Exactly. And that goes in. But you know, more importantly, and this is on the product insert, and I encourage people <laughs> that buy the nasal decongestion of Sinutab to read that product insert, because it's very important to know how to do it. Mm. If we feel on our nose, we've, we've got a bone here, 
and when you put it in your in your nose most people want to just spray it mm. but actually you need to tilt it slightly to the outside of your nose so that it can go into the sinus passages okay. to help relieve so you can feel your bony yes. yes and then you need to Angle it slightly. Perfect. There you've got it. Yes. Okay. I get it because I'm one of those individuals. I just put in the nose and I spray. Meanwhile, it probably is just getting blocked here. So if Correct. you just move it a little to the angle, it gets to the areas it needs to. Hundred percent. And will able. You won't. You will have an open nose. Most probably, you can breathe in through your nose and your mouth. And because there's nothing worse than trying to sleep mm -hmm. and your nose is blocked. How many sprays is necessary? Well, one to two um, of, of your Sinutab, and that will help, and as I say, it works in two minutes, help to open up those sinus cavities that are causing that blocked nose. And is this safe to use? Because I know a lot of pregnant mamas, they, you know, they often complain about, I can only drink this when I'm, you know, when they're starting to feel sick and, and they're not sure what, you know, what's safe for the baby. Is this safe for those who are pregnant? Well, you always, I'm not a doctor, okay. so you need to ask your doctor and of course no medicine is tested on a pregnant woman. True. So ask your doctor about that. Um, but for the normal active person with the blocked nose, you sign it up. You it is. will help with that decongestion effect. Well, Barbara, thank you for joining us and thank you for also teaching me something new because I've definitely learned now that I need to just angle the, con the, the nasal spray to get it to where it needs to be. Now, as you find relief from congestion and enjoy a clearer head, embrace the return to your everyday self. And here's to wishing you a restful night and uninterrupted sleep.